<laughs> this lion has just been terrorizing the whole safari. He's chasing everybody. The giraffes are scared. He's just hungry, I think, but... Uh, let me actually see how he's doing. What are you thinking about, buddy? Yeah, he's hungry. So he's literally trying to hunt right now. We got monkeys running away. Oh, this is the saddest safari I've ever seen, but I love it. What's going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Now, today, the game has been fully released to the public, and in celebration of that, I'm not gonna build a zoo at all. What I wanna try and actually build in Planet Zoo is a safari. So yes, I've never done this. I thought it would be kind of interesting. I don't know if this is gonna go well. I will warn you guys ahead of time. I mean, when you put a bunch of animals that probably aren't supposed to be together, together, bad things might happen. But hey, this is a game. We're just having fun. And I wanna see if you can actually build a safari type park in Planet Zoo. So I have the basics right now. We're not really focused on people with this one. I have unlimited money, so we're gonna go crazy today. Check out a lot of the cool features of this game and just try and build a safari that's not really focused on profits. So yeah, we have all the employee buildings. I usually have doubles of them as well because we're probably gonna need lots and lots of employees because I wanna basically use all our land here to build an open safari and let any animal roam about. We'll see what happens. I don't know if there's animal attacks in this game. Uh, I hope not because this would probably just be an episode of animal attacks. But hey, we'll find out. We're going into uh, unknown territories here and it should be fun. All right, well, let's start. First of all, we need our barrier here. So we're going to put up, uh, I'm thinking just a big wall. We're gonna build a giant wall and a good one at that because I think we're gonna have some pretty mad animals in here, let's be honest here. So, I'm thinking red brick should be good, resistance grade is 5, that's one of the highest if you're not using electrical fences, and I'm not gonna use electrical because those things will just break down, and uh, I'll need even more employees. Alright, so we want a nice large wall here, oh, okay, no, 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 Jesus Christ. I honestly just realized with these giant walls, it's, it's kind of like we're building a jail or prison for animals. It feels a little wrong now, I'll be honest, but hey. We need to keep them inside. We don't want them eating the customers, man, because then we'll get fined. So the first thing we need is Pride Rock. So I am using the Steam Workshop just to kind of showcase this to you guys because obviously there's a lot more creative creators in the world than myself. Uh, and this game has huge amounts of Steam Workshop support even already. Uh, there was something like 105 pages, so uh, we're going to be using a lot of pre-made stuff just to kind of show you the kind of detail that you can do if you are a creative person. I am definitely not, but I did want a pride rock, damn it. Of course, we need a dragon cave as well. Look how cool that is. Now we're going to put that over here. We'll have some points of interest for our animals to go to. I'm hoping some animals will actually live in these because that would be so cool. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're going to have a little dragon cave over here. Just rotate this, put it by the side wall. Bam. It's, this, it's not little at all, by the way. This is actually quite large. And look at the detail. I mean, that is beautiful. There's a little bedding area there. Uh, so I really hope something does bunker down in here, because that would be really, really cool. Look at that. There's a whole little jungle gym in here. These are amazing, man. There's some really creative people. This game's not even out yet. And there's so many creative people doing awesome things here. We got a little... Uh, fire ladder here that goes all the way down that is oh my god that might even be my favorite one yet just by the amount of detail in here wonder if there's like bedding areas and all these small spots here kind of makes pride rock look sad now i thought pride rock was going to be the uh the staple of our place but it's actually not that large now obviously we need to do some terraforming as well i do want some ponds in here and whatnot so we'll come back to the blueprints i put down quite a few of them uh but yeah let's start kind of building a little bit of our own as well Alright, so I tried to do some sort of river type system just so it goes, you know, it's spread out throughout the majority of the uh, safari here. So I'm actually going to expand this out just a little bit more and try and make it look a little more realistic. So just make some areas wider than others and then have narrows. I mean, that looks pretty good. I think it will look good at least when it's filled up with water and let's try that right now. We're going to do calm water uh, and we're going to go up to about there. And yeah, that's not bad. I was hoping for a little bit of a bigger area or a, a bigger pond, so I'm gonna control Z that, because I've found that uh, trying to add onto water is a little bit confusing in this game. So yeah, we're just gonna dig this hole a little bit wider, just so we have a big pond area. 
Uh, because we are going to have things like crocodiles as well, and uh, they'll want some big, deep areas, I'm assuming. And uh, we want to make them one. All right, we're going to add a little bit of a sandy coastline, at least on this side. Give these guys some sand if they want. Um, also, I'll add a little bit of sand over here. Make this all sand as well, and then just have a little coastline there. Definitely want some rock as well, I think. I don't like the rock texture in this. This is rough. It's too... It's too obvious that it's like a, a texture. I wish it was a little bit more random, but unfortunately, we can only get what we get. So, yeah, I'm guessing rough is still actually the best. So we'll keep that around Pride Rock here. Just add a little bit more rock. We obviously need a mountain as well, so I'm thinking kind of past Pride Rock will add a little bit of a mountain. But yeah, some animals like to be up high, so I don't want to have a crazy mountain here. Something that they can actually climb upon. At least most animals should hopefully be able to. Um, and there we go. Now we're forming something to spread this out a little bit. Try and make it a little bit easy to climb up in certain areas. I like that. That looks good. Something like that should do well. All right, we're going to have mostly flat ground, though, just because that's easiest. And with how many animals we have in here, we need lots of space for them to wander. And I don't think many animals are going to go on the mountains anyways. All right, making a little wolf den here. So I decided to add some rocks to the cliffside, and we'll put some bedding in here. This should go well. Something like that. We don't need to go too crazy. We don't have to have this too detailed. It's all about the animals today anyways. So there we go. We'll throw some beds in there later. Uh, what other blueprints do we want? Let's go back to this. We can even have the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, you know what? We'll have the Statue of Liberty on this uh, little island here. All right, and a little update on what is going on. Now, it's not pretty, but uh, I wanted to put just pretty much every tree that I could possibly think of in this just to give these guys options at what they want to uh, go under for shelter. And uh, we added a little bit more. We got some snow over here. I put a crap load of coolers down because it's actually quite hot uh, in this neck of the woods. So I'm hoping we can get like a polar bear or something over here. Um, I'm using a lot of coolers to cool this place down, and obviously I needed power for that, so I added some power over here, as well as a workshop, so hopefully this guy can repair them when we do hire our employees. Uh, I think we're pretty much ready. We just need a few more bedding spots. I mean, we got quite a few on the map, but I want some all around, and, uh, obviously we need feeding and entertainment as well, uh, to keep these animals as happy as possible, and again... I don't think they're going to be too happy, but when you're trying to cater to every animal in one enclosure, it's it's kind of impossible. So we have these giant shelters here. I'm just going to put a few of these along the wall, and any animal that comes in should hopefully uh, go in some of these. Uh, just trying to give these guys options here. So yeah, these things will work good because I can put a bunch of different bedding areas in one of these. And then yeah, we have some large bedding here, so we'll throw some of these down. Obviously, we want different sizes for different types of animals, so we'll do large, medium, a little bit of a mix here. Hopefully, the animals don't fight, being that they're all going to bed together. Uh, obviously, they have options, too, around the map, and I'll throw some random bedding down in enclosures as well. i right, do a bunch of small ones here. So the feeding is going to be the fun part because we have to have keepers come to all these locations, and that's the one thing I'm worried about. Um, there's, there's a rule in this game, I don't know if I like the rule or not, but you can actually only have one gate entrance or habitat gate. You can actually put airlocks in for things like the caravans, which we will do later, uh, but you only have one entrance for your workers. The only other thing you can put in is a guest gate. I don't know if the workers will use the guest gates, we'll maybe try that later. Uh, but for right now, we only have this one entrance, so we're gonna try and keep most of the food at least close to that due to travel times. Uh, and hopefully the animals still will explore the, the rest of their enclosure. So being that we have a bunch of different types of animals, each animal has their own unique feeding platforms and whatnot, we're just gonna go crazy here with different types of feeding. Uh, for example, we have the giraffe one over here, so obviously being that this is giraffe, we want the giraffes to go in their same location, so we'll put a giraffe feeder over here. But yeah, that's the one thing I'm worried about is travel times. Uh, I don't think my employees are gonna like me too much either just because the amount of things they are going to need to do. We're going to hire lots of employees, though, and hopefully there's going to be enough to deal with all these. 
All right, I think that's more than enough for right now. I might have went a little overboard with the toys, but I really... <laughs> I, I gotta try and make these guys happy somehow, and I think that's the best way. Now, the only other thing we need is obviously lots and lots of employees. We're going to need so many here, so we're gonna hire a crazy amount of employees. Hopefully, these guys won't quit too quick. But yeah, the big thing I think we're gonna need is keepers, so we're gonna go crazy with the keepers here. And, uh, obviously we'll keep them all around here, because this is where all their locations are anyways. Um, I don't know how many we're going to need, but again, money's not an issue right now, so the more the merrier. Alright, I think I'm going a little bit overboard now. I'm- I'm back to the keepers. I just feel like we need, like, at least a hundred keepers, just to make sure everything's all fed. Uh, so we got so many employees. Uh, this is gonna be great. These guys are gonna be so mad. I hope we have enough... Uh, areas for them, but we can always put down more if we need to. Alright, so I've given them a day, and uh, I'm getting a little worried. I don't know if they just don't fill the feeders if there's not an animal that needs said feeder, but they are not filling any of them, and I keep calling them to the habitat. I've put them on a work zone as well with the habitat, um, and they are just not coming to this. Let me just make sure, yeah, we have a work zone with 75 employees on it, basically the whole park. It might just be that they're overwhelmed too, they see how many they have to fill, and uh, I'm just noticing though that there's none, like, going into the uh, keeper huts. So yeah, it's just all empty food right now. Or, sorry, it's, it's totally empty, but if we go over to the uh, rest stations, they're usually just chilling in here, like... Look at how many employees have nothing to do. I mean, I guess that's better than overworking them. So, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping these guys get fed, but we're going into weird territory here. So, we'll see what happens. This guy's been working this whole time because I guess they go here to repair the whole boundary. So, there's always a degradation of, on, on the walls, obviously, but they can still get through the door. So, let's get into animal trading and start off slow. I, I don't want to intentionally kill any animals, so let's just go. I'm thinking I want to start with a giraffe. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, there is a market in this game, and you have to bid for the animals. It's actually really cool. I'm looking for... Let's go actually look for the species that we actually need. How about that? All right, so here's all the animals in the game. If you are curious, there is quite a few different animals. I'm gonna try and get the majority in here. I don't know if that's gonna go well or not. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for giraffes. Ah, there's the giraffe. It's called a reticulated giraffe. That's confusing, but okay. All right, giraffes aren't cheap, but hey, my money's not an issue. So we're gonna try and get probably a male and female of everything. This animal is being adopted for cash. It cannot be released into the wild. That's fine. I don't plan on releasing her anyways. So we're gonna get Allie, a Allie at that one, and uh, Zade over here. Why, why not? Oh, and there comes a giraffe. Yep. That's how you, you store a giraffe, by the way, if you were curious, in a little box. Uh, so here comes the first animal on our new beautiful area, and there it is. Look at you, buddy. Are you happy? Please tell me you're happy. Actually, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, go play so I can spawn in another one. All right, and there's Zaid. So, what's up, Zaid? How you doing, buddy? Why don't you guys go play? This is weird. Go away. There's so much room for you to explore. Just, there you go. There, oh, Zaid's actually, Zaid's out of here! Yeah, Zaid! Okay, and there we go. Looks like this lady is uh, a little bit nervous. Oh, we have people here now. I, I don't know why you're here, honestly. I, I really don't. You have nothing to view right now. Absolutely nothing. All right, everybody loves a gorilla, so let's get uh, a gorilla in here. You know what? I am I was going to go one animal at a time, but I, I'm just going to browse now and look at what, what I want. So, um, a snow leopard? Yeah, we have snow. I don't know if you'll make it to it. Hopefully you do. Japanese macaque. Of course, we need a beautiful Bengal ti tiger, so there we go. Some common warthogs. Should we get Timon and Pumbaa? Where, where the hell's Timon at? We'll have to find it later. Oh, a hippo? Hell yeah. We're so gonna have some animal attacks. <laughs> and the next animal is... Big old hippo. Oh my god, you are so big, my dude. I can't wait to just to see what these guys do. Um, so yeah. There's some water over there. I don't know if you wanna go. My giraffes seem to have met each other and just stayed over here. So I don't know if they'll explore the whole park. I mean, I think the whole point of this game is to have smaller enclosures. I don't think the animals know what the hell to do with all this space. Many guests think so. tickets are underpriced. You're welcome, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying my park. Is, is it a good view? Are you guys walking all the way around this freaking thing? 
So yeah, I have a trail all the way around. How far has these guys gotten? They are... Okay, these are actually some of my uh, war workers here. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad we got people coming to our park. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Alright, it's nighttime, but we got the king coming out. Bengal Tiger. Hell yeah, dude. Please don't eat everything else. Just just chill. I'm gonna try and get your food. I'm still working on the food thing. Just, I don't know. Eat, eat, eat some grass. What the? Ew! I was like, what is that noise? The hippo's flicking its poo around, you gross bastard. I love it. Casually walking across to something that can mull their face off. At least they're coming in now. Oh, what the hell? Okay, it's the tapir. Uh, a lot bigger than I expected. Probably could take on the damn tiger. What's up, dude? Oh my god, it makes a cute little squeaking noise. Run! You're gonna get eaten! Oh god! Why is he running? <laughs> I didn't... Wait, is he... Are you actually gonna eat him? Don't eat him! Come on! Oh, this is exactly what I expected. Okay, well, if we can't fill the feeders, we're just gonna have to feed them animals. He's literally on the hunt! This poor taper, he just got in! I'm such an asshole. Uh... <laughs> Okay, this is kind of fun though. It's, it's 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 like a zoo battle royale. We'll just see who wins at the end. <laughs> this guy's running for his life. All right, well, Tiger's got to eat. I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, did she pick him up? Oh, that's no fun. So this lady's faster than a tiger. The taper seems to be okay, so <laughs> I guess they pick up the animals instead of letting the animals eat each other. Uh, I'm still gonna try and bring him in. We'll see what happens. Oh, it's actually diseased. That animal, that tiger was diseased. Okay, so that's why she picked it up. Taper, you got so lucky, dude. I don't know what kind of disease it got, but you got so lucky. All right, well, the good thing is, now that animals are coming in, the keepers are actually feeding these guys, and... Oh my god, I love this hippo so much. It's just constantly running around and crapping everywhere. It really is my dream animal. We also got Timon in here. Or sorry, Pumba. Pumba seems to be really hungry. That or it's gonna eat the human. I I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they're slowly coming in. The issue is it takes them so long to move from the spawn area. And if employees start coming in and animals start coming in, uh, they kind of stack on top of each other. It gets a little glitchy. Uh, so we got a macaque here, our first monkey. And yeah, as you can see, this is exactly what happens. And sometimes the animals won't move because of this. You just gotta kind of wait for a long time. And I mean a real long time. We're going at days at a time right now, and sometimes it likes to lag out a little bit too, as you can see. But, so far so good. Animals have not eaten each other. They're not starving. Uh, we got another visitor. Some, some people keep visiting my park. I don't know if they're actually visiting or how it works. What's going on now? Oh, Transformers failing? Great. Well, hopefully the workers will get on that. I'll have to do that myself if that's not the case, because our Arctic area might start thawing out if that's the case. All right, here comes one I'm excited about. We got the gorilla. Not as big as I expected, but we got our first gorilla. And also, the hippo's getting hungry. Now, I saw that it was playing with the food barrel. Yes, this is this is one of its food barrels. It's suitable for the tapir and the hippo. And clearly, at least found some food. But we need him some real food, man. We can't get him to eat little kibbles out of a barrel. Uh, antelope, this is, uh... This is a bad place to be, buddy. I just brought the tiger back. And, uh, I think already I just had a predator warning. All right, there they go. They're just, they're just playing. These guys are just totally playing right now. Yep, just, just playing. Have, have fun, guys. I have, I have more animals to bring. <gasps> we had offspring? Hold on, I got a baby giraffe. I don't even know where the giraffes are. <gasps> the miracle of life. I knew if I bring one female and one male, we would make the babies. And we already have one baby. Okay, well, that's good. We might have a predator trying to kill an animal right now, but we evened it out, you know? We made a baby as well. All right, and I decided to bring in the big boys. We got the beautiful elephant. What, which one? Is this the male or the female? This would be the male. And uh, I do have a female as well, so hopefully we can have some babies with these guys. I should also mention I tried to give something for the guests to be entertained by, so, well, it's actually more for my workers to get from one end of the park to the other quickly. Uh, but the guests have taken a liking to it. They seem to focus on this. We actually got a thousand people here, ladies and gentlemen. Not one thing for them to do besides go on that, but clearly it's working out. Yeah, you yell, buddy! Okay, we're getting the big boys in now. 
All right, and here's our newest animal of the park, and this one's a little bit of a special one to me. This is an okapi, if you don't know that. Now, uh, it's actually a relative of the giraffe, which actually, that's very uh, convenient. Thank you, giraffe. Uh, but yes, it's a the relative of the giraffe that lives in the Congo jungle. And uh, I actually went to San the San Diego Zoo as well as the Safari Park with Planet Zoo uh, for the release of this game, and I got to learn a lot about animals, but more specifically this one. I actually got to interview a trainer and zookeeper there that knew a whole plethora about these endangered animals and uh, how cool they really are, and I actually got to interview them while feeding them. So I'll quickly throw that in this. Oh, great, thanks. Thanks for showing that off. Yep, that's nice. But yeah, I'll quickly show the interview to you guys so you can learn more about this awesome animal. I'll, I will warn you, it's a little bit of a cringe fest. I'm not used to having a five-man camera crew behind me. I'm, I'm pretty much a basement dweller, uh, so this whole interview thing was interesting, but I learned a lot about this awesome guy, and yeah, I want you guys to learn at least a little bit in this episode, so yeah, here's a little interview about the Okapi. So this is an, an Okapi. This is an Okapi, yeah. So, looking at it, what's its closest relative? I would say a zebra. <laughs> zebra, anything else? And I get a moose out of it, personally. And a moose? Being a Canadian, yeah. Okay, well, that works. Uh, it's actually the giraffe. The giraffe. The giraffe is the closest relative to it. Um, one of the biggest reasons what people think it might be the oak, be the zebra. Yep. There's black and white stripes on yes, the back. Yes, exactly. End. That's what I. We'll just leave that there. Okay. So one of the reasons for those stripes is the okapi is coming from a nice dense forest environment in the Congo region in Africa. Oh wow. If you have a bunch of vegetation with branches, as the sunlight flows through the trees, it's going to give you a nice stripe pattern on the ground. Yeah. If you stick the back end stripe back end of an animal and stripe pattern on the ground. I'm blend right in. Right in. If you wow. can't find, you can't eat me. So what are it, these guys in, 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 in danger? Right they now? are in danger. Wow. Uh, so know. coming from the Congo region, there's a lot of things happening there. Civil unrest, yeah. political instability, warring tribes, poaching, habitat encroachment. It's out there. And a lot of the animals in the Congo region are facing you know, extinction, yeah. or endangerment, all of the above. Now, even though they're having issues, there are things that people can do to get involved to help them okay. as well. So among what I just mentioned, there's also mining for what's called coltan. Okay. So coltan is a mineral found mined in the earth. So when you mine in the earth, they lose their home, they lose their life. Yep. And coltan is found inside stuff like lithium batteries, uh, cell phones, other electronics. So obviously we're not going to be able to say stop. Yeah, so we, can't, ask, we can't stop that. So but... if I ask you, do you have a cell phone? Yes. Cool. If I were to ask you, can you give it to me, you'll never get it back. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. However, do you intend to keep that cell phone the rest of your life? No. So when you buy a new one, Recycle your old one. Okay. By recycling your old cell phone, you can reuse the it. batteries. We reutilize the material, therefore we don't mine up more. Wow. So with conservation, I mentioned we're involved in over 140 different conservation programs. Mm -hmm. Some of them can be the bang, big grand DS gestures. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can do things in our everyday lives that can make that huge difference. Yes. Something like recycling can help them out. Um, have you heard of this this really cool animal called the uh, gorilla? Yes, very cool animal. There are some subspecies of gorillas that live around the Okapi. Okay. Recycle your cell phone, you help the gorilla the as gorilla well. The gorilla as well. And this amazing piece. And so that helps them out too. And also, I mean, you're getting this close. Do yes. you see similarities out of this animal that you might have seen at another zoo visit? Such as what they're eating with. That, well, vegetables. Oh. The vegetables. What are they eating with? Their, their tongue. Their giant nice tongue, tongue. Like the giraffe. Yep. So the giraffe's the closest relative to them. See, I would not associate that with a, with a giraffe at all, but it's, it's, it's very interesting. The okapi came first. Okay. The giraffe came next. So darker coloration, black and white stripes, yep. helped it to blend into a dense forestry environment. As the okapi moved out of the forestry environment into the open savannas, you saw the acacia, it's much higher up. Yeah, so you they have the, grow the neck and... Grow the neck, you got the long tongue to still grab the food that they want. And then the giraffe had those spots versus the stripes. Yes. Is you have a thorny plant, with something like that, you have a nice spotted pattern. Mm -hmm. So the giraffe spotted. They basically adapt to what they need to do. Now, is this an adult? This is an adult. So her name is McKinney. She's actually one of our elder statesmen here. Okay. Um, she's had a couple of babies here before. She's a very good uh, copy, very good mother. Knows exactly what she's doing. And how old do they look? To? Uh, they can live to be 30-ish. Okay, wow. Now, what's interesting with them is you see McKinney right here. Behind you, you've got Melly. Yep. Oh, copy or solitary. Okay. I was going to ask. However, when you're here, basically we give the animals the best <laughs> care possible. Is McKinney was actually starting to stress a little bit at one point. Okay. So we were thinking, how do we try to alleviate that, give her a good environment? Yeah. And maybe she was a friend. Nelly, the female in the back over here, was very young. We wanted her to be one of our breeding okapi, mm -hmm. which is kind of young. It's like, boys have cooties. That's disgusting. Yes, exactly. So what if we were to put the two together? 
Melly becomes McKinney's friend. McKinney becomes a mentor for Melly. Everybody wins that way. Yeah. And that plan actually paid off. Wow, that's amazing. So Melly has bred. She's not currently pregnant. She's bred before. Okay. So that worked. McKinney's got a friend. Everybody wins. So you guys breed them here and you've breed, had babies? Mm -hmm. We breed them here. We've had a handful of babies before. Uh, McKinney's son is actually in one of the enclosures that we have here. I'm not sure exactly where he is. Okay. Um, and then they don't always stay here. Well, funny how <laughs> say she stay here and she walks away. They're getting out of here now. Um, well, that's the idea is we're out of food, so we're out yep. of the copy. Yeah, they're not interested in that. Yeah. So think but, about with yourself, if you were to go to the same job, the same desk, the same thing every single day, Yeah. how are you feeling? Not too good. Yeah, you're kind of bored. You're yeah. kind of getting a little irritated. You might try to find something else to do. Yes, exactly. Our animals, animals can feel the same thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. So we provide our animals what we call enriching opportunities. Okay. They're in here today. Tomorrow, they might be in the enclosure over there. Tomorrow, they might be up different top experience. over here. Yeah. Move them around. It's so like you, every day you go to work, you've got a different office. Mm -hmm. You've got a different task. But also think about if when you go to work tomorrow, your office smells like cinnamon. That'd be a great experience. When you go to the next office the next day, it smells like licorice. Mm -hmm. Next day, it smells like a skunk. That wouldn't It's be a good. different experience. But yeah. It's a, but it keeps your brain stimulated. Yes. So we can use scent sometimes, like they're in here today. Say tomorrow we swap them in the enclosure with a male. He comes back here, starts sniffing around, it's like, oh, there's girls, this is awesome. This is, yeah. We put them out there with where he was, like, oh, there's a guy out here. <laughs> but it's something to experience. Yes. I've l I learned so much about this animal I didn't know even existed, and I, I didn't know it was in, in, endangered either, so that's... And that's one of the best that's things... A, that's another thing you learn, you know? That's one of the best things when you come to zoo facilities like yes. this is you learn so much about them and how you can make that big difference. Exactly. Recycling your cell phone. There you go. Helps them out. Help the okapi. So, if you look at her head, you know, yeah. it's like little little bumps right there? Yeah. Remember the giraffe we saw earlier? They both had They the had horns. the two horns, yes. Yep. So, the giraffe have what's called osicones. It's a flesh-covered horn. Okay. Males and females have them. With the okapi, the males have them. So, it's just the males. Why? Just the males. Why would only the males have them? I would say for sparring, but that's the only thing I know. So Pretty much, you want to boast your fitness. So you've got another male, if you're going to spar, you can do that. The yes. bigger the Oscones, the more you might be able to win that. Yeah. But also, think about if you're a female and you see a male out there, it's like, he's got two nice Oscones. Big giant horns, and they're going to want that. Stronger male, yeah. stronger potential genetics, stronger potential baby. Interesting. So boasting fitness. Now, how big are their tongues, do you know? Uh, very similar to giraffe. It can be up to about 16 to 18 inches long. Because that tongue was... Just wrapping around that. So I'm assuming they grab branches and then rip the leaves right yep. off. Yeah, and did you happen to feel the tongue a little bit, a little yeah. raspy? Yeah, it was like kind of like a cat tongue. Yeah, yeah. it helps them to get that grip on the leaves and pull it off. Versus think about if your tongue is nice and smooth. Yeah. Good luck grabbing something. Exactly. Any other questions, though? Uh, I, I think you've covered a lot of it. Like, she's a very interesting animal. She's just cool, and not a lot of people know much And I want to know more about it now, because like, before I did this, I had no idea this animal even existed. It looks like a, a, a Pokemon to me or something like that. It's, it's very weird. And actually, the first okapi to be placed on exhibit in Africa, mm -hmm. in a zoo facility, came from the United States. Wow. It is that rare in Africa, because if you go into the Congo forests, with everything dangerous, as a person, you might not come out. Yeah. So it's trying to be able to understand their environment with both humans and animals yeah. staying safe. Not hungry anymore? Hold it right here, see if she, what she decides to do. And she's gone. That's called a snub. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good shot, I mean. Oh, I love when they come up with that. <laughs> this lion has just been terrorizing the whole safari. He's chasing everybody. The giraffes are scared. He's just hungry, I think, but... Uh, let me actually see how he's doing. What, what are you thinking about, buddy? Yeah, he's hungry. So he's literally trying to hunt right now. We <laughs> got monkeys running away. Oh, this is the saddest safari I've ever seen, but I love it. Ah, uh, so yeah, I've been mass spawning in animals now. What is this guy? Ah, uh, that's our tapir. He's still alive, so that's good. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think any animal's been eaten yet, so that's surprising. That That's a cheetah there. So that guy's gonna be extremely fast, obviously. I can't even catch up to him. Is he, is he on the hunt right now? Oh, don't eat the okapi. Please, God, don't eat the okapi. Okay, he's- oh my God, he's so fast. Oh, there's my snow leopard. I didn't even know where you went. I haven't seen you the whole time, buddy. Let me actually- oh, come on, I wanna- Wish I could click these a little bit easier. I can't actually seem to grab him. Uh, but yeah, clearly he's not going near the snow. Well, we had our first death. The macaque died due to Latasha. I don't even know who Latasha is, so I'm trying to figure out right now who's eating the animals. Oh, it's the cheetah. The fastest animal, of course. And uh, I think that's gonna happen a lot now. <laughs> so yes, indeed, the animals can be attacked. We have learned I'm sorry, hero. You were a true hero, buddy. 
No! Who ate the giraffe? Uh, it- Latasha! Latasha, was that the- was that the damn cheetah again? You killed the baby giraffe? The one thing I said that was okay because you killed another animal? Oh, we have protesters now. You know what? I- I, I deserve protesters. Great. I mean, I can't believe that. I expected the little animals to be eaten. I gotta be honest, not an adorable baby giraffe. Come on, man. Ah, oh, it's so wrong. All right, and officially we have 38 different types of animals inside this thing. How'd the aardvark die? <laughs> Fen Yang this time, unfortunately. I mean, obviously we have a lot of predators in here, so the animals are dying. Um, but honestly, I expected a lot more chaos. I thought the cheetahs and wild dogs and whatnot would absolutely destroy everything. Uh, it's actually- oh god, this is the other aardvark. He's probably gonna be a goner here. It's not like they're that fast. But honestly, it really hasn't been too bad, and I think if you actually were strategic with what animals you chose, obviously you don't want predators in an open concept like this. Uh, but if you did choose, like, herd-based animals and everything, I think you could totally do this. Uh, the one thing I wish, or I hope they change is having multiple entrances, uh, because having one entrance makes the queue time really, really aggressive, especially when things like disease happen, this guy's gonna go pick up an animal that's sick. Um, and yeah, it just, it takes a long time to get everybody away from the door. But still, I think it's possible to have a safari if you really wanted to, and I think that's really cool in this game because it's something a little bit different, so... I don't know, if you guys like this, let me know, and maybe we'll actually be strategic about it and try and do a successful safari adventure. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this episode of Planet Zoo here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, learning a little bit about animals and having some simple fun in this new game. Like I said, this just came out today, and I just kinda wanted to showcase a bunch of stuff to you guys so you can see what it's really all about. And uh, yeah, if you want to know more about it, link will be in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.